Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 19th of February 1913, Pedro Lascorain began the shortest presidential term in history when he became president of Mexico for less than an hour. Mexico had been governed by Francisco Madero since the collapse of the Diaz regime in 1911. Madero had won the presidential election with nearly 90% of the vote, but soon faced opposition from both sides of the political spectrum. Rebellions around the country grew, and the inexperienced president eventually turned to General Victoriana Huerta of the Federal Army to deal with the insurrection. By early 1913, however, Huerta had joined a conspiracy against Madera that saw the president imprisoned and threatened with death unless he resigned. With few options available to them, both Madera and his vice president resigned. They were murdered a few days later while being transferred to a prison. In the meantime, Pedro Lascarén, who had served as Madero's Secretary of Foreign Affairs, assumed the presidency. The Mexican constitution stated that in the absence of the president, the vice president and the attorney general, who had also been forced out by Huerta, control passed to the foreign minister. Lascarén thus became president, appointing Huerta as the interior minister before himself promptly resigning and passing control to the general. Sources are unclear on exactly how long Lascarén held the presidency. The shortest place it at just 15 minutes, but all agree that the total time was less than an hour. Huerta's militaristic regime went on to face significant opposition, plunging the country further into civil war. With the Federal Army unable to defeat the revolutionaries, he himself was forced to resign and flee the country just 17 months after assuming the presidency. Meanwhile, Lascarén retired from politics and returned to his previous career as a lawyer.